Jack in Delaware, what's up? Hey, uh, I just had some uh, anal sex questions for uh, Norton. See if you can help me out. I'll do what I can, young Jimmy? Jack. Anal sex question. All right. Yeah, my wife doesn't normally like it, and uh, every once in a while she'll put it out for me. And, and the last time she did, it was it, it, it stunk horrible. It, and um, oh I had her to God, oh. dude, it's her defense system. <laughs> And she's like a skunk, well, skunk, pretty much telling her to stay away. All right, so wait, you you put it in, and what happened? There might have been oh a little something God. in the chamber, and it reeked. Dude, I'm, I'm getting nauseous, man. In the chamber. Sir, are you saying the whole room stunk? Is well, yeah, after a while, it stunk after a couple of minutes. Well, our anniversary's coming up, and she's hinting like she's ready to give it up again. Is there something I can do? Or yeah, I'm sure she stays away from Taco Bell. Uh, uh, uh. Now, here's what you do, sir. If you uh, now, I'm, This is the advice. What you do is, if it stinks again, you pull it out, you jam it in her mouth and make her clean it, and that will teach her to Dude, keep the area the clean. We want women listening to our show. I'm helping couples. I'm helping. Sex advice with Jim Norton. Uh, sir? Yeah. Sir? Hi. Do you, do you, do you <laughs> <Hi>. believe... <laughs> this is Anthony speaking. Was the, sm the smell coming? Do you think it was more of an external reek or a real internal reek? Uh, no, it was it was ass. It was it was internal reek. How old internal. is she? Second. How old is she? Uh, in her thirties. No, see, you gotta leave the ass banging to the to, to the kids. <laughs> <laughs> you really do, man. Ah, uh, it's pretty young. Let's let's come up with an age where ass banging should be out of the game. I'm thinking, like, think when you're getting up you in your 30s. 30s uh, you, 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 like, uh, this is Tara Reed's last year of ash banging. Exactly. I think. That's the problem right there, man. Or how about this, sir? Maybe you hang one of those little lemony trees around your neck and take it like a man. <laughs> Why don't you stop belly aching and be happy she's giving up the balloon knot and just stay in the game and get your uniform dirty? <laughs> stop belly aching about it and just be happy. So what? There's a little log on the helmet. Laugh it off. Rub it on the comforter and then laugh it off. <laughs> All right, I'll buy that. I'll, I'll uh, punch out, bro. This is, is just really disgusting. bad. Sex advice with Jim. That Morton. is really nasty. I've had that happen. A friend of mine and I shared the same massage girl, not at the same time. Uh, she charged ninety bucks. She was on the east side, and I, you know, we got to put it in her dumper. Wow. And um, but there was a what little. What a gal. Yeah, she sure was. A super girl. Um, but there was definitely the whole room reeked when you were finished. Oh, <laughs> that's awful. Yeah, you have to you have to wipe a fine little film off your mule. Hey, uh, Reaper. Oh, hey. We haven't heard from you in a while. How are you? Yeah, uh, just driving my little freaking ass off. I hate this job sometimes. All right. I swear to God. All right. Hey, uh, I just calling in because uh, I got some gifts for you guys, and uh, I'm down in Mississippi right now, and I'm headed up to Connecticut. And I was up there before, and I came down through the city, but I was too late. You guys had already left for the weekend and whatever, and I was like, God damn it. Where would you park your rig? Yeah, that's what I was going to ask you. There's nowhere to park a rig in Manhattan to come and visit a radio there's, show. Well, we could send Sex Bagel out. We could figure out a drop-off point. Okay, I, well, I was going to say there's always a place to park a big truck. We're on, like, 57th, uh, around 7th <laughs> Avenue. You get anywhere close, we'll uh, we'll get your gifts. I mean, uh, if i got to run over cars, I don't give a shit. All right. Fuck the four wheelers. All right. Well, uh, just get. Uh, what do you What do you want us to do? Uh. All right. Hold on the line. They're gonna talk to you. Okay. I want to see what kind of gifts the Reaper has for us. Let's uh, talk to John in the city. John, what's up? So. Hey. Wait, you're not bro. There's no age limit. What? There's no age limit, dude. You're right. I'm banging in the dumper. There's no age. No. I don't know, not man. Not a chance, bro. Forty-five, what? dude. Forty-five, and you're banging her in the balloon knot. Yep. Ugh. And you're you're all, you're all right with that? Clean as a whistle, dude. Yeah. I don't know. That should be le like under under thirty, hot. Over thirty. It, no, right. it just starts seeming a little. I'm thinking, leave it for the young man. Leave it for the young. It's a right. kid thing. All right. Uh, Not necessarily. You know what? I gotta disagree with Antho because I mean ass sex. I've had it. Now that's oh. When I was twenty-two, and I was, you've healed quickly. I was, <laughs> <laughs> I was dating a girl who was uh, eighteen. Wink, mm -hmm. wink. And um, I, I, she liked the backdoor action, and I gave it to her one time in my apartment, my my, my parents' house, and I uh, pulled it out, and I had the towel off. It was filthy. Oh it, it looked, my it, I, god! I, it looked dude. like you were drilling for oil. I had to wipe off with a with a bath towel. Oh my god! Stop. And then I went outside and threw the towel down the sewer. <laughs> drilling for oil. That's exactly what it looked like. Shang, shang, shang. <laughs> one of those oil derricks. And you're disease free. That's just amazing. Dude, I was, that's, that's that's twelve years ago. 
Did I ever tell you about the time I took a dump on Pepper's Farm White and put a little thing, a little a little uh, cocktail thing through it and <laughs> showed my friend Bill D'Angelo? <laughs> yeah, and I put on a plate, and me and my friend Frank were laughing, and Bill was disgusted, so I put it in the street, and a car ran it over. Because Pepperidge Farm remembers. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> wow, that is really Pepper, rank. Because it's such crumbly bread, too. It's hard to hold while you're done. We interrupt this program for an ozone midget sighting coming from mm. Kansas City. Let's say hi to Dwayne. Dwayne! Teen Essex, though, first. Would it, would, it, would it smell like cotton candy and bubble gum? No, nothing like no. that. Maybe after it goes no. through the internal system process. Did it smell like s'mores <laughs> <laughs> and gingerbread houses? No. Yeah, it smelled like baby powder and tears. Uh, 